What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another install video. Today we are installing the skid plate set from Hefty Fabworks. I got my plates over here. Um, I got our full skid plate set. I got four skid plates all the way from our gas tank all the way up to our engine. Um, but if you guys saw my bumper install video, you will have known that the bumper came with an engine skid. So I think I'm going to just keep that engine skid plate on and just roll with these three skids. Um, so the the installation instructions from Hefty Fabworks, um, they recommend that you go from the gas tank to the front. So that's what we're going to be doing first. We're going to jump in with the gas tank skid and then moving forward into the rest of the skid plate. So um, if you're looking for installation instructions, the Hefty Fabworks skid plates, they do not come with printed out instructions um, in the package that they send you, um, but you can go to their website and find instructions on there. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I have my iPad fully charged this time. If you guys saw my last video with the roof rack and the bumper, um, I did not have my iPad fully charged. So we got our iPad fully charged. We're gonna pull up our instructions and we'll, let's just go ahead and jump right in um, with the gas tank skid plate installation. All right guys, so jumping into the gas tank skid installation. The first, thing, the first step for this installation is going to be jacking the vehicle up and removing the rear tire on the gas tank side. The reason being, um, with the tire removal, will give us easier access to some of the spots that we're gonna be mounting the skid plate to. So by removing that, it will allow us to have that access that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so we got our car jacked up. We got the wheel removed. Next thing we're gonna do is going to be removing the stock Pro 4X skid plates. As you can see, we do have skid plate underneath there. So we should just be able to remove it with some, the socket set, the bolt here, and then one on the other side, and that should remove it. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so I got my strap loose on the gas tank up underneath here with the jack holding the tank in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be installing all of the brackets. So um, this is the first bracket. What I'm just going to do is just put it on here. Obviously keep it nice and loose so it can slide back and forth so I can adjust it up underneath the car. And then I got another bracket here and up there that I got to install. I'm going to do all the brackets first. I think that'll just be easier and then I can you know, slide it underneath the car and then lift it in place with the, with the jack. Um, so let's go ahead and do that first. All right guys, so we got our brackets in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and position the skip plate underneath the car and go ahead and tighten it down. Let's go ahead and do that.
Alright guys, so we're kind of running into some issues with the gas tank skid. Uh, this bolt here got cross threaded, same with the one up front. So what we're going to do is move on to the transfer case. And what we got going on here, um, as you see here with the transfer case, um, the bracket here is the same one for the gas tank. So since this one got stripped, we're also this other bolt that's going in here should hold the gas tank skid in place. So we're going to go ahead and roll with that and see how that does with the gas tank skid. And then also um, for the T case, we got three bolts going in up top and that should do it for this one. Um, it's getting pretty cold outside today. So we're going to finish this one up and come back and do the uh, transmission skid tomorrow. Um, but this one hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go ahead and throw that on and finish this up. Guys, so we got the transfer case skid installed. We got the three bolts here up front with the washers. And then as I was explaining earlier, we got this main bolt right here to hold up the bracket in between the gas tank and the transfer case skid. So now the gas tank is nice and solid and now the transfer case is in place. All right guys, so we got the gas tank skid in place on that side with the T-case bolt. And now we also have it re-secured on this side over here. So what I did, um, this is where the bolt's supposed to go in this slot here, but the hole in the frame on this side has a broken bolt in it from when I was trying to remove the original skid plate here, which is fine. So what I did to make do is I just drilled a hole through the skid plate um, up here. And then from my rock slider, I took the bolt out, um, the thread cutting bolt out, and I just threaded the bolt back through both um, through both the skid plate and the rock slider back into the frame. So now everything's good to go. Sliders, slider's good. Skid plate's good. Nothing's going on there. Um, so everything's good to go. Um, T case, skid is good to go, nice and solid. Tomorrow we're gonna do the um, transmission skid up in there. And that will finish out our skid plate project. This has been quite a struggle, especially with the just the gas tank skid altogether. It has been quite an eventful um, happening. Um, but so this is going to do it for today. It's getting really cold out. I can hardly feel my toes. And um, we're going to call it for today and finish up tomorrow. So stay tuned. Um, we got some more some more working to do tomorrow. So. Here we go, flash forward to tomorrow. All right guys, so it is now the second day of the project and today we're going to be finishing up the transfer, sorry, not the transfer case, the transmission skid plate. I got it set out right here. Um, this will be the last skid plate that we're gonna be installing because I already have the engine skid plate installed on from when I did the bumper. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, it should hopefully be as simple as the transfer case install, just bolt on. Um, Hefty Fab gives you all of the bolts you need and labeled and everything. So we got the transmission uh, label there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. Um, this one has a few more bolts than the transfer case one, but should be pretty simple. So we got our long bolts going in through the frame in the rear and on the sides here. And then we also have two bolts going in up front. So let's go ahead and line it up and Put her on in.
right guys, so we've just finished installing the transmission skid plate that is going to complete our skid plate project. But let me tell you, this has been the most difficult insulation that I've done on my car altogether. Like out of the bumper, the rock sliders, the rear bumper, the roof rack, everything. Like so many bolts were just getting cross threaded. It's very difficult to get these plates in place where all the holes are matching up. So you're kind of just like jamming screws in there. And if they get cross-threaded, they're just not strong enough to they just snap off. And then they're almost impossible to extract. So um, if you guys are gonna be doing this, make sure you're being very careful not to get these bolts cross-threaded because they will break. Um, needless to say, with a little bit of ingenuity and then rigging things up, we were able to finally get all the plates installed and everything is nice and solid. So let's take a look underneath real quick. So we have our skid plates from our bumper here, radiator and engine. And then back on the bottom there, we got the transmission transfer case and then the gas tank. So now everything is nice and protected. Everything is nice and solid. Um, hopefully we don't have any issues. Um, with anything of with the rigging that I've done um, to get everything in place. So um, that's going to complete our skid plate installation. Um, I hope this I hope this video has been beneficial to you guys. It has been a struggle, and at many points I just got so frustrated I didn't want a video anymore, but. Um, I, I pressed on and I kept video for you guys so that way you guys can see all the stuff that I messed up and how I ended up working around it. Um, so if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up down below. Really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and also make sure to hit that notification bell. That way every time I post a new video, you guys are always getting an update and a notification so that you guys can come check it out. Um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Peace.